visual estimation of blood loss is the topic of our discussion today. We need to understand the different methods of blood loss assessment which are usually underestimated. So along with the visual estimation, the other methods include measurement of the blood loss with under the buttock strips, weighing of the swabs and pads and 1 gram of the swab and pad equals 1 ml of the blood loss. As far as the visual estimation of the blood loss is concerned, it is a traditional method of assessing the blood loss in PPH. The soil sanitary towel indicates 30 ml of the blood loss. The soaked sanitary towel indicates 100 ml of the blood loss. Small soaked swab of 10 into 10 cm shows 60 ml of the blood loss. Incontinence pad 250 ml of the blood loss. Large soaked swab 45 into 45 cm 350 ml. 100 cm diameter floor spill indicate 1500 ml. PPH on bed only indicates 1000 ml of the blood loss. When there is PPH spilling on the floor that shows 2000 ml of the blood loss. When we have full kidney dish that shows 500 ml of the blood loss. This is the whole summary of the different things which we use for visual estimation of the blood loss. Soil sanitary towel. 30 ml of the blood loss, soaked sanitary towel 100 ml, small soak swab 10 into 10 cm 60 ml, incontinence pad 250 ml, large soak swab 45 into 45 cm 350 ml, 100 cm diameter floor spell 1500 ml, PPH on bed only 1000 ml, PPH spilling to floor 2000 ml, full kidney dish 500 ml blood loss. What are the advantages of visual assessment of blood loss? First of all, no equipment is required. Secondly, estimation can be performed with minimum skill required. And also, if we do regular training, that can improve the estimation. It is also a cost-effective process, which is another advantage of it. The disadvantages include, first of all, inaccuracy. That is why it can lead to poor management. Secondly, the fibric color can influence the estimation and there are person-to-person -person variations in the estimation. Another method of assessing the blood loss is that of the use of brass feed drapes, which are the calibrated under the buttocks drapes, which fold out into the large sterile surface for delivery, allowing measurement of the blood loss in calibrated pouches. When we use the under the buttocks plastic drapes for accurate measurement of the blood loss with early detection of PPH action should be taken with 300 ml or even less blood loss when a woman is already anemic not wait for 500 ml of the blood loss. So here you can see the use of those drapes before the placenta you can see this picture but here you can see that in the calibrated pouch we have 350 ml of the blood loss cumulative blood loss. The third method of assessing the blood loss is that of the weighing of the swabs and pads, 1 gram equals 1 ml. So weight of the wet swab in grams minus weight of the dry swabs in grams equal blood loss in mls. Now this table is from guidelines for the visual estimation of the blood loss when we have small 10 into 10 centimeter 32 place swab of maximum saturated capacity that shows the 60 ml of the blood loss medium 13 to 30 centimeter 12 place swab with a maximum saturated capacity shows 140 ml of the blood loss large 45 into 45 centimeter 12 place swab maximum saturated capacity show 350 ml of the blood loss when we have one kilogram soaked swabs that indicate 1000 ml 50 centimeter diameter floor spill 500 ml 75 centimeter diameter floor spill 1000 ml 100 centimeter diameter floor spill 150 ml and when we have vaginal pph limited to bed only that is unlikely to exceed 1000 ml but if the vaginal pph spilling is over from bed to floor that is likely to exceed 1000 ml now this is the algorithm for the management of PPH. You can see that starting from PPH prevention till the surgical management, we follow this algorithm in the management of PPH. And we have the bundle approaches for its management. Okay, so thank you so much. That was all about the different methods of blood loss estimation along with the PPH algorithm. Subscribe on Ops and Gynae, Alafis 
and if there is any query in your mind you can write in the comment section